Hello folks, this is for entertainment purposes only, um, it doesn't constitute advice, it's just a selection of uh, things that you can use for sprouting. I might do a, a, a little vid um, on things that you don't want to go near, <laughs> okay, um, and uh, obviously all the things I've got here, um, that, that, that I, obviously I got them because I spout them, but um, different people might have, have different tastes. So some things that y you might not like as much. I, I, I've got some suggestions on that anyway. Um, your alfalfa, uh, that's very good for nutri nutrients, but sometimes you need to. Uh, it's a bit, little bit on the bland side, so you might want to. Um, sort of spice it up a bit now I've got a suggestion for that I'll come to shortly uh, chickpeas fairly standard sort of thing mung beans lovely jubbly we like them pretty standard sort of sprouter type uh, bean uh, dookie beans um, haricot beans now haricot beans uh, are very high in vitamin C apparently they found in the uh, First World War, they was actually more effective than than lemon juice. Uh, sesame seeds, brilliant for uh, calcium, very good, very good source of calcium. Uh, quinoa, that's uh, amazing. That is, you just put a little bit of water on them. <laughs> it's almost like they know there's water coming, um, and they, they sprout. Oh, amazing! Oh, gone. <laughs> it's uh, off they go. Um, broccoli. Now, the information I've uh, read about the broccoli is that um, it's very good for um, f uh, against cancer. So that's um, that, that's uh, Andy one. As you can see, that these these particular one that's from a seed company that supplies seeds for for gardeners, uh, and that's a seed company as well. It does that one. Uh, most of the other stuff is from the health food shop, in fact all of it is really. Um, and then we've got, um, there you've got your, um, uh, the uh, red clover. Uh, and we'll just do quickly the green lentils, uh, red lentils, um, black mustard. Now, you can also use radish uh, seeds, I haven't tried them, but if you use um, things like a little bit of black mustard seed or something like that something that's got a little bit of bite in it you know a little, little little bit spicy and you put a few of them in with your with your alfalfa that can just sort of give that, that, that little bit extra zing to it yeah so that's just a suggestion there um, now you might have noticed on the bags just a little aside um, I use these food clips you can get them supermarkets sell them and um, the, the, some of them you get this particular one I've got a whole pack of them for a pan from one of these uh, cheap shops um, so there's different sorts you can get there um, Andy for once you've op opened it up and it keeps it nice and fresh so that's just so hopefully just a little quick overview give you a few ideas of things that you can sprout okay cheers for that